the first question that you make generally is uh, what's your name? The second is uh, where are you from? The third, what do you do in your life? And on the base of the answer that this person give you, you have a picture about this person or you have an idea who is, from where it's from and what he's doing. So I am uh, an immigrant. I am Italian. I am woman. I have an Italian passport by my mother is Slovenian, my father is Austrian. I live in Montenegro. So what do you think about me? I am okay or no? What is your first impression about me? So today there are millions of people like me around the world who has uh, different type of the passports, uh, have different origins, uh, and uh, they are stuck in the world because they cannot move freely because they have wrong passport or they have the wrong uh, gender. So what to do about this? How many things uh, we are losing in this world? How many people we are losing in this world? How many know-how we are losing because we are not really the citizen of this planet because we cannot move freely. So I think that the passport is an old tool for all of us. We need something new because uh, something that really show who we are, what is our records, what is our education, what is our driving license or whatever, that make us to be really in this planet and not to be part of Italians or French or Libyans or whatever. So personally, in the last uh, 20 years, I dedicated my life to the environment and to the climate change. I developed uh, more than 7,000 projects around the world. And uh, I presented that uh, already in TEDx uh, in the 2012. This is uh, one of the pictures that you see is uh, what I built up in Tibet. Uh, I provided the electricity and the water through the solar panels uh, to the Tibetan community. A million of projects like this I did around. But uh, uh, climate change was an interesting issue, uh, we can say, in, in around the 90s. Uh, and the countries was really committed uh, to do something for this planet uh, and to take care about the climate change. But in the last... Uh, eight, ten years, the things change. The leaders of this world change completely their view, and uh, they become more bureaucratic uh, and more politics. So climate change was not anymore a scientific tool, but it was uh, a politic. So I decided to change uh, my life in 2014, uh, and uh, to create uh, a small wo world where uh, I can realize my vision, I can realize everything what uh, I build up in these years. So my plan is to create job opportunities in a sustainable way. Not only projects, but jobs opportunity in a sustainable way. Because I think that today in this complex world, we have uh, one of the things that all of us need is to find a proper job in the base of our education, in the base of our history, and on the base of what we want to do. And this is quite difficult at the global level today. So I built up uh, two hotels, but uh, no standard hotel like this, uh, because uh, again, I wanted to give back something to this planet. So 
I'm rebuilding historical buildings. And this is a first 15th century villa in uh, Paris, it's a UNESCO city. And these are the picture of how it was before and how does it look now. And I think that this is something good for everybody to go in one city and not to see a broken building, but a good building, rebuilt. But uh, like a woman, startup a woman, today in the world we have the 83% of the startups founders are leading by men. Women are still uh, 17%, so the gap is still very big. And if we speak about Montenegro, the gap is still more big because uh, about the research that we did uh, in Montenegro, there is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0x percent of the women startup, maybe one or two of them. So, but I'm not here to tell you a story tell because uh, to be a startup in this country is quite difficult, especially if you are a woman, because I face police harassment, bureaucracy, paperwork, corruption, and local connection, nepotism, jealousy, lack of confidence uh, in woman entrepreneur. But since that I have a, back, uh, a good background, uh, I decided not to give up and to go on with my vision and uh, uh, to continue to create what I wanted. And especially I wanted to create a team of the people that can reflect the world where we live uh, today. Because uh, we return to the fact who is an immigrant and who is not an immigrant uh, today. I'm different uh, from one Syrian refugees only because I am Italian and I'm an investor in this country or in any other country. So, who we are, I think the, all of us are immigrants today, and uh, only our passport is not anymore. We are all interconnected uh, with the social media, uh, through the internet, uh, with the television, uh, YouTube, uh, and whatever, but we are still not interconnected in the real life. Still, we are facing problem to real interconnect. So how to resolve this problem? Because in any case, uh, immigrants uh, will not stop. No way to stop, especially because we are today interconnected with the social media. So I don't see any think new, any vision around to resolve this problem. So I decided to create my small world with uh, my team and to continue to build up uh, my team of people that are all between them completely different. There are uh, old people, pensioners, young students, uh, refugees, different genders, uh, and people that suffer different atrocity. And uh, I pick up them, and I put all of them together, and I give them a new hope. But, of course, also this is not simple. You need a special person in the middle, and uh, that is uh, our manager, who is dealing with all these differences every day because we are also in a different country, you know. It's so it's different things that you have to deal. And, um, but she is Italian, she's an immigrant too in this country. So she's facing also that problem. Who help us a lot is the UNSCR here that uh, in this country is doing a great job and they suggested us uh, a different type of the refugees that come uh, to, to come to work uh, with us. So the question it is, uh, we are in a globalization world. Globalization is still working well. At the global level, I don't see anything new because uh, 
what we are facing today is this. The leaders are teaching us to build walls, barriers, tariffs, uh, but still we are having all these immigrants going around and they will not stop. So what to do about that? Who is giving to us a new vision? Because they teach us in the last 40 years, we have to be interracial, we have to be multicultural, we have to respect everybody, we have to be together, and all of these things. And now the new leaders are telling us, no, 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 it's not working this. We have to be divided. We have to build walls. We have to prevent the people to move around. So probably we need a new person to come, I don't know, probably an uh, alien to come from another planet uh, and to give us uh, a new vision and uh, a new way to be. So in the meantime, since that there is all this mess around, uh, I'm trying to keep the track and not to lose, uh, not to be confused because I see a very complex moment uh, in this uh, in this period, and I continue to build st sustainable projects. I have uh, another two projects uh, in pipeline, uh, and uh, one is uh, on the Scudder Lake uh, where I will build uh, an eco artist uh, lodge. So the artists of this world can uh, they will find a place where to get interconnected uh, and where to be inspired and where to leave their work. And another is a chain of uh, social hostels dedicated to the digital nomads, because we saw that we have travelers uh, between 18 and 30 years old that in this moment, in all the Balkans area, they don't have the proper place where to go. So this is uh, how I'm plugging uh, in the future. I'm uh, creating a, a small world where there is uh, uh, sustainability, where there is a multirational community, and that I'm creating jobs. And how about you? Thanks. <laughs>